Okay, scholars, this week we are going to start using some I can statements. These statements help us remember what we want to achieve by the end of our math lesson. So it's super exciting stuff. Our statements today are, I can find two smaller numbers inside a bigger number. I can count in a line. I can count in an array. All right, so we have some tricky vocab in there that we're gonna go through first. So I know I can count in a line. So let's practice. A line is when our items are lined up just like Miss Weed has with her dots on this slide. Okay, so I'm going to label scholars. And that just means that I'm going to put a number under each dot as I count. So I see one, two, three, four. So I have four dots. Now, we are going to talk about an array. An I array is when our items are lined up into columns. So that's up and down and rows. We have an array when we line up in columns and rows. So just like Miss Weed counted and labeled with the line, I'm going to do the same thing when I'm counting my items in an array. So I'm writing one, two, oops, two. And then I have to label the other two. So I have one, two, three, and four. So there I labeled again, and I can count in an array. And now, we are going to talk about hidden partners. Hidden partners are two smaller numbers that are inside a bigger number. So here we see that two and two are hiding inside the four. So all together we have one, two, three, four. But then you can break it apart and you have two and two. All right, so now get ready, scholars, because we are going to find some hidden partners together. All right, so here Miss Weed has some a cube tower. So she's going to count how many cubes are there. One, two, three, four. So Miss Sweet has a tower of five cubes. How many cubes? Five cubes. How many cubes? Yes, five cubes, you got it. But she is now going to break her tower apart into a tower of two and three. So we now have three red cubes and two blue cubes. So I'm going to move my cubes here. So we know that. Three. We know that three and two make five. So we knew that three and two make five. We know that 
three and two, oh, make five. All right. So Miss Weed's putting a five here. Three and two make five. Okay. We have three red cubes and two blue cubes. All right. Now, scholars, Miss Weed is going to find one more hidden partner, and then I want you to take out your pom poms to see if you can find some hidden partners as well. So you're going to need five pom poms to find some hidden partners of five. So Miss Weed will go first as an example. So right here, Miss Weed has five cubes and she has one pink cube and one, two, three, four green cubes. So one and four, let's count. Make one, two, three, four, five. One and four, make five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have one pink cube and four green cubes that were hiding inside my five cubes. So again, I'm going to write a five. Okay. All right, teachers, you can stop the video here and work with scholars to make some hidden partners.